I'm Brandon Campbell, the Director of Small Business and Inclusion with the Little Rock Regional Chamber, and you're watching our story. Today, I'm at Bear Fruit Direct Primary Care, an innovative practice here in Little Rock that's catering to customers and clients alike here in the greater Little Rock area. Today, I have with me Dr. Lillian West and Dr. Karen Pendleton, the owners of Bear Fruit Direct Primary Care. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yes. My Thank pleasure. You. My pleasure. So let's get right into it. Why did you start Bear Fruit? So we started uh, Bear Fruit Direct Primary Care because we wanted to offer an experience to our patients uh, that's somewhat been lacking kind of in our healthcare system currently. Uh, we wanted to provide um, unrushed visits. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to provide um, access to, to their doctor, whether that be by phone, text, email, uh, even video visits. That's, that's kind of innovative now in medicine. And so we wanted to provide that for our patients and also um, continuity of care. And what that means is that when our patients call us, they get us, you know, they get their doctor who knows their story from beginning to end. And that's really important in the overall care of the patient. So that's, that's, that's very unique. And so I can just imagine um, what has really set you all apart from other primary care um, practices here in Little Rock. But to ask, let me ask you this. So what is it that has led to your success? I know you just started in 2019, but things have been going really well for you. What would you say has been your, your secret to success so far? I think um, one of the number one things to um, realize um, when you know, um, trying to be successful is that you have to put yourself first. You have to first take care of yourself, um, and then you can then focus on your family. Mm -hmm. And then after doing that, then you can focus on the business. And so, um, you know, getting that work-life balance and getting that order, you know, allows us and frees us up to be 100% available um, to our patients. Um, another thing is just honest communication um, and with any business and any interaction that you have, honest communication is going to save time and it's going to save money as well. So what are some of the trends that you're, that you're seeing in the healthcare um, sector here in Little Rock and how have you all, you know, rather, rather you benefited from it or it's been a challenge and how have you overcome it? Some of the healthcare trends that I've noticed here um, in the Little Rock region is that, you know, people are just more aware of their health now. Um, there's a lot of information online and, you know, somebody has a symptom and they go and they do their research online. Um, you know, Arkansas is kind of at the bottom of the list when it comes to health. And so um, people are more aware of that. And so they come to their doctor with a lot of questions. Um, but because of the way that the system is set up, um, physicians often don't have time to address some of the extra things that they've read online and they have questions. So they leave the office kind of frustrated, um, you know, not having all of their needs met. And so what we've done here at Bear Fruit is we've created a practice that just allows that time. You know, we can discuss what we read online. You know if it's accurate or not um, and we can just you know address those needs right. and who are some of the, the black um, icons in business or in life whether it be nationally or even locally um, they have really inspired you and motivated you uh, with running your own business successfully well I, I would say that uh, here in Little Rock there are many many um, influences and business owners, uh, minorities that have been inspirational growing up here, seeing that our parents, my parents, my grandparents have seen these doctors, these physicians, and they've been inspiring me even if they don't know it. <laughs> um, because representation does matter. It's important to see that. And uh, growing up here in Little Rock, um, I attended a Bridging the Gap program, mm -hmm. um, and that was really my first exposure to medicine. And attending that program, really, it just was eye-opening. And some of the local physicians came about and, um, and told us what they did, and that just really sparked uh, interest. And we do have 
one position that um, really kind of stood out uh, to us because he kind of represented um, at the university um, what excellence was, you know, as far as um, as far as taking care of patients and the drive to see um, others that are aspiring to be physicians um, to go that route, you know. And how have how has being a member of the chamber benefited you all? I think it's been really beneficial. Um, met different business owners. Um, we've met and gone to different events, been able to speak at events, kind of gotten out of my comfort zone. I'm naturally an introvert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so it has been very beneficial in in um, forging these relationships to really get their friends out. And what would, what would you say, what, what, what is your next chapter? What are some goals with, that you all have in uh, 2020 and beyond? Um, I think that um, the next chapter after we um, can kind of get the word out about Bear Fruit and what we stand for um, is to add on to our practice, to find more physicians like us who want to take time to you know, care for their patients um, and, and build on that so that we can help more people. Your model here is innovative and it's very new to the market here in Little Rock. Explain to those who are watching and listening, you know, what makes it so unique and, and a little bit more about the model here at Bear Fruit. Yeah, so Bear Fruit um, is, is a membership-based um, practice and so it's not set up like a typical medical practice. Um, we don't hold thousands of patients on our panel, we just maybe hold a couple hundred. And the way that we do that is we don't accept any insurance for primary care, but we um, offer a membership-based uh, model. And so that just allows us to um, see our patients the same day or next day if they need to. Um, it allows full access to us and um, it helps us to not have the non-rush visits here. So, um, you know, we see people with insurance, but we also see people without insurance. And we don't ever charge any co-pays, and so patients can see us as many times um, a month that they need to. Mm -hmm. And so, with that being said, it's, it's still fairly new here, but what has been the reaction and the response? Mm -hmm. So, we ha I've been practicing for a while um, here in the community, and so the, the responses have been mixed. I think once patients really understand the model, they and the ones that have come on board really, really enjoy it. It's been positive a very positive response because we do know that um, health insurance doesn't always equal great health care and so you can have the best health care insurance but it takes weeks or months to get into your doctor and your visits may still be rushed in our model we don't discriminate <laughs> and what, what I mean is that uh, whether our patients have insurance or not they're going to get a high quality level of care and so um, those patients who have high deductible plans who are afraid to go to the doctor, quite frankly, because they're afraid of how much it's going to cost, <clears throat> can come and see us uh, for that flat monthly fee and get their needs taken care of. Same with those uh, patients of mine who have insurance and, and just want um, the unrushed visits and who want uh, the personalized care, a doctor who knows their beginning and their ending. <laughs> you know, in care, that means, and, and organizing um, visits for specialty care, those kind of things that we take pride in doing, you know. So that's what kind of differentiates this model of care. Okay, and I can add to that just, um, you know, um, when the schedules change in our lives and even in our patients' lives, um, our patients appreciate that we can adjust to it. So this morning I had to um, you know, change of schedule and I was able to do a phone consult with my patient and so, you know, she just loved it, you know, because didn't necessarily want to get out today and couldn't get out but still was able to talk to me and we came up with a treatment plan, so. That's awesome. I think that's what really makes it unique is that it's very, very much so personalized. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And so, um, we I treat our patients like family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And that's important now, especially for any small business, to uh, treat your patients or your customers mm -hmm. as family, yeah. with your own family. So it's very important. And so 
we have a we have a special round that we that we that we started with the art story called the fast money round. And what that means, I'm just gonna throw out some things and you have to just answer quickly. Okay. The the last good book you read. I'd say for me, Call to Create by Jordan Rainer. Awesome. And I'll say, and I haven't finished yet, but Battlefield of the Mind by Joyce Meyer. Okay, okay. Your favorite season? I like spring. <laughs> I'm going to say winter, but yeah, winter. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll just be right in the middle. I love the fall. That's my, my favorite season. Okay. Dogs or cats? Dogs. 100% always. Yeah, I would say dogs. Okay, okay. Well, how will someone reach you all and give us the address and phone number? Sure, I'll give the address. So uh, we're located at 8221 Ranch Boulevard, Suite 2, Little Rock, Arkansas, 17223. Uh, you can reach us at 301-4607, or you can reach us um, by um, looking at our website at www.bearfruitdpc.com. Awesome. Well, thank you all for having me in here. It's a pleasure, as always, thank meeting you. with you, connecting. And thank you for, for watching our story. Again, this is Brandon Campbell, Director of Small Business and Inclusion with your Little Rock Regional Chamber.